So what if we took one great teacher and a great group of first graders and we gave each of them one-to-one -one access to the Sony Xperia tablet? Would it make a difference? Would teaching and learning change in their classroom? This May, Sony Education Group sent the kids in Christy Zorhoff's class 20 Xperia tablets to use for three weeks. This is the story of how they were implemented and the ways that teaching and learning changed in their classroom over the course of that time. So let's see what these kids thought about the project. It really made me use my brain. It made me smarter at doing the writing the pictures in. She's um crayons and pencils are harder. And this you can just take a picture and just type stuff on it. We're gonna make a video. Now we got to take take pictures on it and play math games. We're gonna use them a lot. And um they're really fun. She gives us she just goes on the internet, she gives us a test and then we do it. And then when we're done, we just press done and they tell us if we're right or wrong. Just put that one please. I don't know. That's a guess. I would try that one. Math games. One I was really good at. Although the class used some math apps and quiz with Socrative, the main focus of the case study was investigating the life cycle of caterpillars. Christy took daily photos and placed them in the cloud-based box.com class folder. The kids used Sketch to access box and then annotate the photos. They then saved them back to box and would use them in pic collage later. Well, we um we measured how big the caterpillar was and each day we wrote we wrote like three sentences about what um the caterpillar has been doing and changing. It was really exciting to have the kids actually being able to have tools that could give them an actual photograph of the caterpillars. Um, being able to measure and have a recording method that's different than traditional paper pencil um, was exciting for them and novel and they looked forward to like that daily recording task. Seeing the photographs of the caterpillars was so much better than them actually trying to make their own observations in color because it's just hard for them to make that scientific transfer in an illustration. The tablets allowed us to do that and it was really exciting to take something that we've done year after year after year and try something completely different with it. You know, they learned so fast. The first day, I would say it took us probably a half hour to just kind of figure out where to find our photos, how to get them into Sketch, how to save them back to box. Um, but then the next day, it every day after that, it decreased. The time that we spent decreased exceptionally. Um, they were they were so quick, and by the time we wrapped up the project, they didn't even need my directions anymore. For the most part, they knew where to go, how to get it in there, and they were so much faster that it allowed our content time to be um, so much more in depth. They were able to start typing sentences and do more with their photographs and their observations because they knew all the basics and the ins and outs so quickly. You know, Sketch was a great tool because it allowed them to take photographs um, and import them directly into the app. They were able to annotate them either through writing, actual physical right handwriting or typing. They were also able to then label the drawings and things using the tools that um, that were in the program. Um, it's really hard for first graders to, to take something real life and copy what they see. Everything is, um, you know, it can be very cartoonish. Something like Sketch allowed them to, to see an actual picture. What they see is in real life is what they saw in the app um, and on, the, on their screen. Um, Pic Collage allowed them to kind of have a spot where they took all of their photographs um, through the entire course of the journey 
of the caterpillar's project in his life um, and kind of put them in one spot and kind of have a chance to record um, on just a couple pages from beginning to end the timeline. Um, something like that we've never been able to do before. Some apps like um, Clever Blocks or Shift It that were more a visual spatial problem solving type app that force them to think in a way that I don't really have all the tools to be able to simulate that for them, but the tablet and the games did that for them. Um, but I also wanted them to, sh to see how the, the tablet could be used for more than just games, that we could use it in our learning, we could use it to track our observations, record what we are, what we're learning in class, that it's more than just, this is a really great game device, I can use it in my learning too. You know, it was an absolutely incredible experience. The kids, the kids took a hold of them and they just went. And they were engaged and they were excited to try new things. Um, they, they, took, they took great care and responsibility with them. And they taught me a ton. I loved learning alongside of them. That was my greatest excitement, was for them to be able to see me as a learner too, as I handled a new device with an Android base and a bunch of things that I just didn't know. And we learned it together. And I think letting them see me as a learner and kind of vulnerable in that spot too was really, it was really perfect. It was a great dynamic for both of us and it was just a wonderful experience. Those tablets are a great tool. We could do lots with them and in three weeks um, kind of just ignited my brain of what it could look like for a whole year. Tell me, would you rather use a tablet or would you rather color stuff with crayons? I would rather use a tablet. What? I mean, Seriously. you're doing you're doing the same work. I mean, you're no, keeping not. you're keeping track of how much a caterpillar grows. Why is it different to take a picture of it than just to draw it with crayons or pencils? These um, crayons and pencils are harder. In this, you can just take a picture and just type stuff on it. Well, compare, compare, like a picture you might take, to. Um, you can write on it. Okay, now could you draw a picture as nice as the picture you took? No, that would have to be like an artist. Yeah. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Okay.